This toxic jet main carried his team to a world championship. Demon One, the planet's biggest smack talker. Uh, honestly, I don't give a f what you guys say about me. <laughs> just backed it all up and proved to all the haters that he is the best. In game one of this best of five grand finals, he dug deep into his bag of tricks and gave his team 18 kills in one half and willed them to a win over Paper Rex's map pick, which set the tone for the rest of the championship series. But what makes Demon One so good? A player who just months ago was on EG's B team is now wrecking havoc through the entire tier one scene. How? What puts this jet in a stratosphere of his own? Let's find out. Today, we're breaking down Demon One's duelist and what makes him the undisputed greatest of all time. Now, there's greats in every game. Soccer, basketball, football, and digital entertainment marketplaces? That's right, guys. G2A is your gateway to adventure. They are an endless portal that allows you to buy games that you've always wished you could play for way cheaper than normal price, plus instant delivery. And you're in luck, because for this winter season, G2A are holding a truckload of special offers on their winter landing page. Look, Baldur's Gate, one of, if not the best game ever, for 61% off. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy for 59% off. Who doesn't want to be a wizard? Or EA Sports FC 24 for 54% off for, you know, when you want to go touch some grass. And every 24 hours, they have a new deal of the day. So keep checking back so you don't miss out on any ridiculous specials. They don't just have games either. If you need software or gift cards, they got those too. Help, I'm starving. Uh, Mr. Wallet, you monster. Stop starving your wallet and check out G2A today using my link in the description and never pay full price for games again. Teats, why are we starting around round six? What gives? Well, to be honest, Demon 1 didn't really turn on the gas until the second half. As of this round, he's only 3-4 and four and didn't have that crazy of an impact on the first few rounds. Uh, granted, it is early, but this man always has his head in the game and is ready to make a big play. And this is something you see out of grade A duelists in the tier 1 scene. They never lose their confidence and are always ready at a moment's notice to step into the spotlight and make a big play for their team, even when they're not hot. That's how winning is done! Now, this round is important. EG have low amounts of credits, and if they drop this one, they're saving next. Which means another easy round for the offense. Both game plans need to be thought out meticulously. So what do Paper X have cooked up for this potential economy-shattering round? Hit be hard. Hit be good. Ooga booga. <laughs> All right, well, with the rocket launcher, I suppose it's not a bad plan. But EG are ready for a fast push. Both duelists have a strong sight crossfire, and they have three players in mid prepared to go blow for blow in this area, or rotate quickly to either site for the retake. Paper Rex wastes no time and get down to business. Sky Flash, Jing Satchels, and Ashra sucks in case anyone was playing near the entrance, they'd be trapped on the exit. But the showstopper has aired out the room before it even came into play. And EG are already in position to play the retake. Hmm. They must have had some sort of read, because the two duelists have already given up their crossfire and are sprinting away, and not even worried about a lurk. I guess when Paper X have their Razult online, there's no chance of a fake or anything? Uh, hold, hold on a second. Uh, let me do some research real quick. See, either way, Reckoning now gonna be coming through, and yeah, he's gonna pull the Showstopper off the back of that one. Macho over finding an opening kill, takes him down. Hmm. There's an op on this side, defense. Yeah, something, to pick. something with Blades, though, and the flash up top. Oh, top. wow. Uh, okay. Coming in again here from... Jing. And that's what Paper X does so well, and you're about to see it again. There's the satchel. There's the so I looked at almost every map where Paper X play Rays, and like 95% of the time when they start around with their showstopper on attack, they're pounding a site, and their hits look pretty scary. So good on Coach Potter and her team. They came into this match prepared. So EG are playing retake, but while they're waiting for this rocket launcher to expire, they want to flush out mid from any potential lurks. Com walks Ethan's dog down mid and has a feeling to peek sewer. Okay, no one's there. But now because he's down here, Kam is going to light flank and protect his team from getting backstabbed in mid. But the read is wrong this time. Devai is walking up A and is going to wrap the attackers through spawn. This means that Paper X's next objective is to buy their Viper as much time as possible. But uh, it looks like they're fighting early instead. You see it, judge around the corner, bye bye. Demon one denies something and does the dance. Back and forth, he's got Jing. And now Jorgamo both with the other one to clear out my pillar. That's his EG sweeping through the site. It's forsaken and Devai left standing in a two v four. Devai still in play and Devai shows his hand. Looks for more, does it get more? EG back in business. What good. A Awareness from Demon 1 to know that the attackers could be pushed up this far. 
After seeing Paper X's Trailblazer fly through this space, he knew that he had to be careful, especially since he was all by himself. Had he gone down to the judge, this retake would have been ruined as his teammates were going to get pinched from spawn and sight. Now, Paper Rex might have fumbled the bag. When you have a win condition in play, like a round the world lurk in Viper, your goal should be to stall and buy that player time. By pushing up and fighting like this, you're not really giving her enough time to shoot anyone in the back. She now has to hurry up and make noise and give up her position. Then when sight's clear, it blows her cover as there's nowhere else she could be. They know she has to be coming from spawn. I mean, this cosmic divide might have tried to buy viper time but all it did was break up the crossfire that raisin jet had in spawn or maybe she was trying to bait for her regardless demon one punished paper rex hard and without him they wouldn't have won this pivotal swing round After dropping around, Potter takes the time out to form a big brain setup with her newly acquired Viper's Pit. We don't have a lot of money, guys, but we don't have to save. Listen up. Viper, you're going to buy a Stinger and ult a main. Raze, buy a Judge to back him up and make sure he can get the pit off safely. Once he's okay, rotate off and use the Judge elsewhere. Demon 1, you go kill people in mid, and Sky help him out, and then Bustio, you hold B. Sound good? Yeah, it sounds good. 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 EG is confident in their setup coming out of their timeout. But what master plan have Paper X come up with in their 60 seconds? Hit A fast. Hit A good. Ooga booga. <laughs> all right, well, with Jet's Blade Storm, I guess it's not a bad plan. But just how quick can they go with all this green fog filling up this area? Very. Jing double satches off this box and is matching the speed of his Sky Flash. They grab well in smoke so the judge can go play. And if something isn't that far behind, he's updrafted over the Viper's Pit and sniped Jogamo out of heaven. EG setup is falling apart, but they still have this massive green fart cloud holding up this execute. Uh, how do Paper X get through? Definitely gonna be feeling the pressure here. So he got the past it here, but he's missed. Cough, give it a second chance at life here. Demon One knew better than to walk into the smoke knowing how quick Rays could dart up ramp. And Paper X tried to trailblazer through the pit and force Com out so that something could take him out. I mean, it was a solid plan, but it all came down to this whiff. But without their ticket into sight, Paper Rex know they're not getting into A. So the attackers make the instant decision to leave, regroup with their lurking Astro in mid, and try to split B. But because the offense cut noise, EG start getting suspicious. Com pops his heaven smoke as they've left that space for some time, and there's a good chance that someone's in there. But Paper Rex aren't scared. Forsaken wraps a flash around Pillar, it tags nothing, so his teammates file out, and now it's all on Bustio. Can he get played in by Ethan? He's actually got a charge for himself. Gonna deny Forsaken. EG's side anchor is down, and now they're faced with an identical problem Paper X had earlier, a Viper ult. How are they going to retake against this thing? The defense are here, but they're paranoid. They don't know where Astra's at. They haven't seen her all round. And Mind Freak knows this. He's decided to dip back in. Can he get one for his troubles? He can. Falls away into the pit. And After securing her prey, Astra dives back into her swamp like a crocodile. EG file out of heaven. Jet floats on a new box, and they surround the marsh, wanting to pinch it from both ends. But Demon One, the crocodile hunter, knows Astra is hungry and is coming back for seconds. Actually, that's going good. Demon One found one. Okay, it's just down the one in the pit. He's diving headfirst into this. Ethan's got him. EG, how did you break? After taking down Astra, Demon One dashed and updrafted out of the pit like a big bird, attracting Devi's attention. This distraction allowed Ethan to flash and drop in on the other side to pinch, taking the Viper by surprise, ultimately securing the round, and Dodge falling onto another eco. Now, like I mentioned, Demon 1 didn't have that great of a start to this game. Even after a halftime mental reset, Jogamo was actually the one mounting the scoreboard. On pistol round, EG steamrolled these defenders on B, Demon 1 made space, but his team converted the 4 versus 2, winning them a pivotal pistol to kickstart their comeback. Now that brings us to the anti-eco. EG's plan is to take mid control with these three, and on the wings, play as far away as possible from these close range pistols. So what genius strat have Paper X come up with to win with such a weak buy? Stack B hard. Stack B- Okay, I'm sorry. On eco rounds, the defense has a couple different options. One. They'll either group up and stack a site, preying on a coin flip as to whether or not the offense will run into their site. And if they do, they'll try to swarm them as they're filing in. Or two, they'll snowball and make an aggressive play. By doing this, their bad loadouts combine into one big fiery death ball that can overwhelm anyone who's not ready for it. Then that gun that drops will fall into defenders' hands, and then that's their new win condition. And it looks like Paper X are opting for the former, with four players stacked towards B. 
They're going to fight hard for this orb, but then are falling back into their stack on B site. While Jet, uh, hopefully gets hers. But EG should be safe by playing from these long distances and using their initiator's utility to snuff out this stack. Right? Both teams kick off the round with a quick exchange of sky flashes. Paper X smokes off B main and feed Jing an orb. Bustio calls all of this out, and his teammates feel safer smoking vents and starting their mid take. Ethan hops into this cubby, activates his dog, and both duelists are taking it for a walk. But if it gets too far, it'll spoil Paper X's stack. So at the last second, Forsaken swings from stairs and stops it in its tracks. But, hmm, something doesn't seem right. It feels like Sky was baiting for something, Demon One thinks to himself. So he pushes further to investigate. The top side of things to fall! Oh, 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 come on! This guy is literally... Inhuman. I don't know what this... Well, hey, that's uh, that's one way to deal with the stack. Because Sky didn't see anyone as she jump spotted, Viper wanted to try and move into the spot that the dog just cleared, hoping EG wouldn't expect her there. But Demon One ruined their plans and single-handedly stopped his team from running into this stack. He's starting to heat up. To cook up a good fake, you need a few ingredients. At least three people showing utility, information denial, aka smokes, and good timing from the people relying on the fake across the map. You know, they can't go too early or too late. And that's exactly what EG are doing this round. But oh, wait a second. They're faking A, but going B, but they're missing a third person. Okay, well, can these two make enough noise to break up Paper X's 3-2 hold? Giacomo flies off his perch and up ramp behind a Skybird. He jump spots, lays out his boombot, and Calm flips his wall up. Paper X have no idea what's going on behind this green giant. Are EG really hitting A? Ethan tries to sell even harder by sending his trailblazer through the wall. Forsaken puts it down, but no one was following behind it. Forsaken is sussed out. He activates his trailblazer and it spots nobody. Paper X aren't buying what EG are selling and something smells something fishy. Flying towards vents, it's on something's shoulders and he shoulders it so well. Perfection, couldn't quite outdo Demon 1 in the upgrade. I don't know if it is in his hand. Ah, uh, there's the control from him right- Demon 1 has traded out his teammates, but this is why you need more pressure if you're trying to sell a fake. EG had two of the three ingredients. Information denial with her toxic screen, and the B main players had good timing, and even started off far back to dodge an initial sky flash. But nobody followed this dog onto site. So Forsaken didn't feel enough pressure to back off and call for reinforcements. But could you imagine if Demon 1 was here, and he dashed out onto site behind a sky flash? Yeah, Forsaken would pee his pants. The comms would come in that EG are at least heavily pressuring A, so then maybe something wouldn't be so ready for this. And Jogamo's vents wrap didn't even work. As soon as this green fog went up, Jing called out that Jargamo could push this way. Devi then kept his orb up to isolate vents from mid, and won an important duel. Now, had Demon 1 not gotten these two kills, this round would be looking a lot uglier for EG. But after being filled with bullet holes, he decides to instantly sprint towards Ethan to get patched up. With these eliminations, he's created question marks that he could have pushed onto B site. And Paper X are adjusting their setup too. Raze is investigating the crime scene on B, Viper is anchoring mid with her smoke, and Sky can solo hold all of A as long as she holds this cross. Every lane is on lock, and now that the defense is comfortable, Forsaken sends out a flash to find some information. It tags both EG members who just finished healing. Flash. And look at this angle. Oh yeah, that's real. Wait. Oh, don't keep Demon him. Demon 1 gets another trade. Even if he doesn't win, every kill is a huge blow to Paper Rex's economy. They don't have a lot of credits next round. So after getting Ethan's trade, Demon 1 hangs around a main, not knowing where the two remaining Paper X players are. They can literally be anywhere. Jing peak spawn, and the defenders went out their first full buy. But Demon 1 didn't make it cheap. On round 16, Bustio came up big. After trading out utility on ramp, EG decided to quickly pivot to site where they found nobody. Paper X wanted to punish the attacker's ramp take, but because no one's here this time, Forsaken and Jing walked down and found this insane timing. Oh, does he take the green light? They might know Jing, but maybe not. Oh my god. They both slipped through. They've slipped through the net, and it's going to be devastating. Already taken away Ethan. Oh, but Bustio! The timing on the crest of the corner. And this is why it's important that when hitting A, you have some people sitting back towards A main. Site just doesn't have a lot of great places to set up and form crossfires. Uh, think about it. If all five of you are here, one raise nade could win the defense the round. She gets like a three for one deal. 
but by utilizing all of this space, you certainly have a lot more possible post-plant combinations to set up in. Paper X just tunnel visioned on site and thought they had a timing, but Bustio punished with a backstab and got another defending his home turf on ramp. EG Tech on another round, which brings us here, where Paper X are on an eco. All of that damage they took against the bonus and them losing last round forced them onto these bad loadouts. So this should be an easy win for EG, right? Well, I mean, Paper X do have a couple rifles. They're posted up in mid, ready to take early and long range fights, while the Stinger and Frenzy are going to take close range fights with this Poison Orb on A, and then on B, they're just going to wish their Astro good luck. So are these three ready to fight these two rabid defenders in mid? Demon 1 immediately cloud bursts, and Ethan's bird pierces through, blinding all of mid. This was a new default to combat an aggressive play, and Forsaken was caught with his pants down, and something had to dash out. Now after realizing that EG have taken all of mid, something doubles up with Mind Freak, who hasn't seen anything in B main yet. Suspecting that the attackers are playing far back, something picks up the orb and inches closer to his blade storm. And on A, Jing and Devai have also secured main. But the offense has also created question marks in mid though, so Jing realizes that if he wants to find value out of this frenzy, it's going to be in these close quarters. So he breaks up with his viper and just barely dodges Dragomo's boombot. He knows he has a timing and hops into EG smoke. Might even capture on, yes he does, Jorgamo. Jorgamo thought the events was clear, but was there a good reason to push into the smoke anyways? I mean, it had so many red flags around it. Your team is up a player, the enemy team has poor weaponry, why even go in here? Regardless, Jing has recovered a Sky's Guardian and sends his own Boombot to make sure no one's mid. No one's there. And because Mind Freak and something pushed up B main and tanked a headshot from Busio, they saw him turn tail and go towards A. All signs point that it's A. While Ethan and Kam are waiting for their teammates, they dog up ramp, but Jing's 1 HP. If it bites him, he's dead. But he takes it down, and Kam mollies to prevent him from peeking out and confirming they're coming A. But Paper X are positive EG are here. Really set up here, but there there it is. That's another player down for the attackers, and Paper X now have the man advantage. This anti-eco is looking bad for EG. They decide to book it through sewer after seeing Raisin screens. She was just Vents, then Ramp, and now Screen? The stack has to be here, and they're out of there. But Paper X have that read too. They've broken up their A stack to hit up B and leave their Viper again. With little time left, the attackers have to start moving. Ethan runs over Mind Freak in Heaven, activates his Seekers, and all hell breaks loose. Heaven's towards Heaven, Demon One turns around, chase him down. Something's gone, and out the far. Oh my God! Above and beyond. With a spike, they need to get towards the site, and it's on Demon 1 to do it. Demon 1 has entered the Matrix, saving the round for his team again. He zooms on the site after recognizing that Viper's the A anchor, but EG's hero is only at half HP, and with a couple Vandals in Heaven, this round is certainly losable. It's like five bullets in it, has to reload. Demon 1's now called to attention. Yeah, comms yeah. definitely relayed this information. You can see the pings coming through. Divine out at a crossroads, a dilemma how to approach. He's got to give it a go, and it's come. Gonna find a fight. Hey, Teets, uh, how do you know what Demon 1 is thinking? I mean, you're not a Jet main, or even close to a world champion. I think you're all BS. Oh, yeah, you think so? All right, well, let me call up a world champion then. Hey, Screwface, can you help me out with a video? Their map pick is slipping away. Paper X are forced to take a timeout. Think, man, think. What genius strat are EG cooking up? What killer strat could they possibly be coming up with next? Hey, Demon 1. Yeah? Go kill. Every round, EG have been defaulting mid, A, mid, A. So this round, Paper X would never expect a five man B beatdown, and they aren't. The defense has three players who are going to try and contest potential early A aggression, but. They soon leave to reinforce mid, the two places EG have been hitting. But B's defenseless, and the Astra's grab well just isn't enough to stop these two duelists. That sign can't stop me, because I can't read. The buy barrier drops, and when Mind Freak jump spots for info, Ethan is able to chip him down. Because Sky was just spotted B, something immediately gives up his A hold. The offense aren't pressuring A right now, which makes sense, they wouldn't do so without their initiator. But once EG forces Mind Freak off the angle, they just pull back their star and put their pain shells away because it's clear that Paper X isn't playing to aggress B main. With this read in mind, the attackers steadily inch closer towards site, while Calm is trying to get hit by a Sky Flash so the defense doesn't immediately stack B. 
Demon 1 slowly slices the pie, ready to punish any off angle, but after spotting him on the jump spot, he reads the next one and immediately punishes him, letting Mind Freak know that this isn't free information. This is a disaster for the defense. Their B anchor has been snapped, and now they're stuck at a difficult crossroads. Do they spread out and counter any potential timings? Or do they group up and try to make a play together to even the odds? I'll tell you what, PRX opt for the ladder. Hey Viper, come here. Hop in that smoke, swing off us, and fight mid. EG would never expect it. The call comes in, and defenders move into position. Something standing out in the open, facing Ethan's dog head on. He takes it down, but Ethan's tired of this animal abuse, and he flashes swings and spots Ray's jet and maybe even Viper. But this was all just a fake. Ethan was putting on a show in mid so his teammates could have safe passage on the B site, and that's exactly what they have. EG funnel into site and start establishing their post plant, and while doing so, Demon 1 updrafts on the new box. But, Devise swings and pre-fires him, getting the free kill. Ethan is in a great position and he's able to trade, maintaining numbers advantage, and with comms kill earlier, it's still a 4 versus 2. Jing has been trying to delay the plant with his paint shells, boombot, and something even takes a turn at it with his cloudburst and trying to spam through or running through the wall for a moment. But they are unable to crack the post plan and find anything, and off of that first blood, EG managed to pull out another big round, and they've tied up map one. Paper Rex haven't been able to catch their footing. Round after round, EG have just been bombing their economy with a lot of kills or just winning rounds, plain and simple. But that's the great thing about Jet's Bladestorm. She can turn rounds that would usually have no hope into ones that are more than winnable. Paper Rex are in their same setup, only this time, something is going to push up all the way in main, and he's going to try to finally punish this player holding all the way back in Narnia. Now, EG recognize that Bladestorm is active, and they don't want to run into any aggressive shenanigans, so they're taking their time on the map. But, the defense are getting busy. Forsaken sends his bird down A and it squawks. Someone is here. So, something pushes down behind Forsaken's dog. But, the offense have taken mid with their cloudburst default, only this time, it isn't a pot flash. This is a mix-up to what we've seen before, and they clear out mail instead. While this is going on, Devi is just stalling. He's trying to buy his A players time to find a duel down this lane. Wants to isolate, come oh, and he has! Clean! And something has found the first blood. This could be the momentum builder that Pyrex needs to stop the bleeding. After losing this whole third of the map, EG speed up their mid take behind Ethan's dog, but it's sloppy and Devi punishes them. Demon 1 thankfully gets the trade though, so everything is all good. Now, something is going to decide to take the extra mile and he's going to go for the round trip flank through EG spawn. But Bustio is so aware. Now in a three versus three, this anti-eco is not going as smooth as EG hoped, but after taking down something, EG feels like A is the play. And it makes sense because with him there that deeply inserted, his teammates were probably headed towards mid and B anyways. But they're already back, having made this rotation very quickly, and they're ready to stomp out this fire. In this. Yes, the pain shell could be pivotal. Yes, all of the blast packs could do well, and they have. Forsaken makes the most of it. Boosty on the trade, but still, it's a 2v2. And Paper Rex perfectly timed their double peek with their raise util and take down Ethan, but Boostio gets another with a huge trade. Jing takes his time to satchel in the elbow, but he's not really trying to take a fight. He just wants to toy with the attackers and waste their time until Mind Freak gets here. Being shown by EG, they're aware. They're so aware. And he's down on four. Hemorrhaging blood. He's been deleted by Demon 1. Unfortunately for him, Demon 1 catches the rat, but not before taking critical damage. A sheriff is more than enough to win this. And at this point, Mind Freak could be anywhere. The timing's everything. He's got to find this first kill. Boostio. Can you do it? Spike on a plaza. It's not worked. He's so Boostio. low, though. Oh, he's gone away. 10 HP, 28 in total for EG. This is doable. Knocking them. Couldn't quite connect on either of that. How does he close the gap now, Bustio's gone down. He was expecting the swing. Demon one, oh, the temptation. Five HP on one side, 18 on the other. Four bullets, ah, oh, Demon one. With such little HP, Demon one didn't feel comfortable swinging off Bustio. He knew that Mind Freak knew that they were in a crossfire and at this high level of Valorant, players often expect these kind of things. So instead, Demon one relied on his raw mechanical aim to secure the bag and dodge getting thrifted. Demon 1 is on fire and EG aren't slowing down, they're slamming A. Jogimo double satchels in a main and Demon 1 is soaring high above the Viper smoke. to be the map they started out- OH CHRIST! Which immediately leads to him taking down Forsaken, Paper Rex's only information. When you're holding a smoke, you don't really expect to get peeked from stories above, but EG aren't stopping there. 
With that opener, the offense turns their sights to sight. Jing swings out trying to slow them down, but he gets mollied off. And while this is going down, Jogimo immediately whips out a showstopper ready to fight back any ambitious defenders. The site belongs to EG and they're setting up for their infamous post plan. But look, the spike is planted for main, and notice how far back EG are playing. Despite having the blade storm online, the offense collectively recognize their next win condition. Boostio. He's still in market, and he plans on backstabbing Paper X super late into the round, meaning that his teammates can't be taking fights too early, because if they all go down, he won't have enough time to pull off this unexpected lurk. This discipline from your duelist to go from 0 to 100 this quick is really something you only see from the best of the best. So, this round all comes down to how much time EG can really buy for Boostio. Paper Rex are finally here on the retake, and they have two going down ramp and two heading through screens, and they aren't making the same mistake as last time. The defense have smoked off A man to prevent Viper from blasting them behind, and with that, it's technically a three versus four. On here. Try and face their demons. They take it away, Jorgamo. That's fantastic. Quick flash, can't follow up, and now there's a chance. An opportunity cracked open here for Paper X. Maybe this is the time they can break through. Maybe not. Demon One is out of this world. As Dubai, the time is. Demon One has done it again. Thanks for your time, Screwface, and congrats on the championship again. Now, after expending all of his power, Demon One has been recharging while his teammates have brought themselves on the match point. Now, it's time to run it back. But they're pumping the brakes this time and taking it slow in their 1-3-1 mid default. And Paper X are going to push up and try to catch Com out of position in their 1-1-3 setup. Both teams are pretty quiet and aren't doing much to start. Jing jump spots A main a few times, but after having their vision blocked by these Viper Smokes, Forsaken wastes no time and dogs something through the mist. It even jiggles to avoid getting shot, and it doesn't see anyone. But as it expires, it leaps into sewer and spots the sneaky rat. With this information, something is now at a difficult crossroads. Since Kam is in sewer, does he just push all the way through spawn and flank? I mean, doing so would take a ridiculous amount of time, but be very rewarding. Or does he just post up on him and wait for Kam to come out of there? Doing this would allow his teammates to stack the rest of the map while he holds this narrow entryway. He opts for the jackpot and wants to single-handedly win his team the round. With this strong position, his team still feels safe to leave him solo. I mean, if the attackers do go away, they won't ever expect Jet in the spot. But Kam isn't your ordinary sewer rat. He has the game sense of Master Splinter, and is telling his turtles that something could be in this area. So Boostio and Jog both drop back and investigate. Wait, there's no way that Boostio just had a little look back. He's, he's looking, he's watching. He absolutely is! He's killed something. And take down the intruder. Now, what do Paper X do? They just lost this one third of the map and are starting to panic. Forsaken flashes into B main, runs down the stairs and over to A, but the mid smoke fades and Demon One takes down Jing uh, through the wall. This causes Sky to activate her cabbages, but they aren't in season. With that Vents kill, all EG have to do is group up and hit a site. I mean, I'm no math major, but five is more than three. So the call comes in and the offense gather up towards A, the execute starts, Demon One finds another, the Viper Pit gets laid out, and EG close out map one of Grand Finals. Now, Demon One really is something else. He put on a Jet Masterclass and helped his team beat Paper X on their map pick. But is he a better Jet than Kong Kong? You tell me after watching this video here.